Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to my okay. life. Today's video is a very, very, very long chat. A 33 minute long chat to be precise. Um, with the lovely and amazing Jessica Karim. Um, I'm going to link her channel and the video that I mentioned in the chat down below. But when we were doing the chat, I didn't do an intro because I was kind of went blank. <laughs> I didn't really do an outro either. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, go grab a snack or something because you're gonna need it. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and before we get into the chat. It is audio only since I did not have my video on at the time. Enjoy. <laughs> not good at intros, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about blind misconceptions and assumptions. Always oh, fine. <laughs> um, I'm here with Jessica, yay! We're so I'm enthusiastic. Sorry. Yay! So happy. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I be? It's the first oh. time doing a collab, so, you know. Oh, really? Why wouldn't I be? Yeah, no one else has done a collab with me before. Oh, no! <laughs> no one. First time doing a collab. Well, I've done, like, collabs with Destiny, but, yeah, it's the first time we're doing a collab with... You know, someone's actually doing a collab with me. <laughs> You're so sweet. Stop it. You're so nice. Oh, oh my god. No, privilege. Pleasure is literally <laughs> all mine. So, yeah. I mean, um, your channel, you can start um, with, I guess, okay. ones that you get, and then I'll kind of, like, we'll just have a conversation if you want, or... You know, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever works. I'm easy, so you know. <laughs> um, I don't I'm gonna start with a recent one actually that happened, pretty much happened yesterday. Um, so I was talking about like, so when I eventually move out of home, whenever that will be, um, I I really love dogs and. I want to get a, a four-legged, you know, friend in my life. And I was talking to, you know, I put a thing on Facebook about it and instantly someone was like, oh, such and such breed are really good breeds for guide dogs. I was like, I did not mention guide dogs. Why? Why, why are you putting this on me? <laughs> that is literally such a mood i have two dogs um one of whom is like a golden retriever so you know kind of like your standard dog that you would get right like yeah like you know if you were getting a guide dog and i remember we got her like a year ago and put up like the post on facebook and everybody i'm talking to is literally like she's your guide dog right and i'm like no. Uh, no, she's my pet. She's my pet who just so happens to be a golden retriever. Literally, this is not the first time it's happened either. Like, I'll be talking about dogs and they'll be like, oh, so you're getting a guide dog? No, not necessarily. I mean, you know, I'm never saying never to a guide dog, but at this moment in time, my sort of like situation doesn't really fit so yeah i just feel like there's this huge misnomer on like blind people that you have to have yeah. kind of a guide dog or that whenever you mention a dog it has to be a guide dog you know what i mean yeah exactly like i feel like blind and visually impaired people are sort of like pressured into this thing that oh they they have to have a guide dog or you know but you know there's personal preference if if you're okay with your cane then 
you know, you can have some people just don't. I mean, I want one. I don't want one right now just because where I'm at right now in my life, like I'm a college student, I'm in class, literally, you know, exactly week. And I'm, you know, with friends who have small cars and it just, you know, for me personally, it doesn't fit your situation. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't make sense right now. Um, but it's yeah. like me, I hardly, you know, I hardly go anywhere. And then the places that I do go, like my social group and sometimes the gym, you know, I wouldn't take the dog there. Um, no, exactly. And I think like, that's a big thing where it's like you, you want to respect it. And I mean, also like whenever I meet someone, like I'll meet new person, like, oh, do you have a guide dog? Are you going to get a guide dog? I'm like, God, also just guide dog, you know, handlers have to go through so much regarding access and Denied. Exactly. Like it's just so frustrating. I mean, like for me, a big one is I'll go with like friends places, and people will like. I was going with my friend to this, um, like fruit bowl place, and we were kind of we had to park across the street, and we were walking across the street. You know, she's guiding me per usual, and this woman comes up to us and is like, "Oh, um, you work?" And I guess like my friend and I are both wearing like a Delphi, which is where I go to school, Delphi University. University kind of like name tags, you know, like IDs, because you know, yeah, like, and we need, we want to go like the discount. And my friend's like, no, I, I'm thinking, oh, maybe she's talking about like she sees the IDs are under her neck, and she's like, you help her, don't you? She was like, I think like a foreigner, maybe Polish or Dutch, just like I think trying to find. Oh. Like, no, <laughs> I don't help her. We're literally just getting fruit bowls, like. We look the same, we look the same age, you know, like, I don't understand why people constantly assume that, like, I need a helper, you know what I mean? I know, yeah, it's like, people just think that we can't live our own lives, and we need someone there 24-7. Like, do people assume <laughs> that we all have people that are at our back and call, that whose job it is to just help us with things? Like, no. Exactly, like, that's, that's literally not the case like you know I mean yeah I have my PA but she literally helps me with things that I really really would need help with you know things like let me think so my gym is on like a main road which is really not like I've tried to learn the route for it and to cross the road is really really difficult to hear where the traffic is Right. So she'll help me cross the road and, you know, she'll help me around the gym because gym is full of obstacles, literally. <laughs> I've tripped over so many times, even with someone. So, you know, it's not like we need someone there 24-7 to, to tell us what colour our outfits are or... I mean, it's also really frustrating because it's like, am I not allowed to have a friend who is a friend? Exactly. Like, for the pure and simple reason that, like, we got pizza and I wanted a fruit bowl and she drove and parked and we walked over there. Like, that's what we did. And it's just something that really... Exactly. Yeah. It's like you're not allowed to have friends who are just your friends. Like, like me for me, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's, that's a big one for me. <laughs> what, what other ones do you have? Um touching on guiding people who kind of assume you need need help guiding and then they grab your arm and it's just like oh my god what are you doing or people that like like, get I'll, off. Hold, like I'll, I'll try to get someone's arm and they'll move my arm like they'll move my hand I'm like no 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 I know exactly the way I'm supposed to hold you don't I hate how people assume they know what we need like no I know what I need. exactly I had so, something one time where I was getting on on a bus and I was finding my seat. Like, I knew how to find the seat. I knew the layout of the bus. I knew where the seats were. And this woman comes up to me and she's like, oh, do you need help? And I'm like, no, thank you. You know, nice and polite. No. Um, I'm still looking for the seat because, you know, I know where the seat is. She grabs my hand and puts it on the seat and she doesn't let go. I'm like, it's fine. I don't need help. Now. And I have to I mean kind of, like, move my hand away from her. Exactly. I mean, even, like, especially with, like, the state of the world, like, we're filming this, it's almost August, we're still in pandemic life, like, people don't want to be, yeah. and I know blind people, like, on Facebook will be like, oh, I got grabbed today, I got pulled today, like, we're in the middle of a pandemic, stop! Exactly. I mean, when this happened was, like, last year, so we weren't in a pandemic, but, you know. I mean, it's, now, it's I'm just talking really about, matter. like, the future state is crazy. 
just don't you know if you see someone that looks like they need help just ask and then if they don't just say okay yeah fine and then you know go about your business don't be like grabbing them and getting up in all up in their space and stuff because it's just not you know especially really really like rude and it's just it's really disrespectful like my whole thing is like you wouldn't do this to a sighted person don't do it to me. Like, I'm just as capable of speaking up and telling you. I hate when sighted people try and make compensations for us. So I was walking um, from a meeting and it was raining and cold and really wet. And like, um, I went to get a cup of coffee or something and I'm standing there in the back of the line and the brace was like, come forward, come forward. And I'm like, I don't even think, I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And he's like, no, no, come first. And I'm like, I don't want to come first. Like, yeah, really capable of standing up for the extra ten minutes, and rather than having to walk past ten or you know five or ten people who were in line already, like no, you know when people think they have to make us feel better or do things for us. Yeah, you know, so. I know. I I had a similar thing um, a month or so ago. Me and my mum were going into a supermarket, and there was like, I mean, they were being helpful and all that. Um, there was like these two ladies stood out outside the supermarket because obviously at the moment you have to queue to you know go in and whatever and you know we just made made sure that where the queue was and all that kind of stuff we we were going to queue and the ladies in front of us were like no just just go ahead and we were like no 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 it's fine we we can queue they were like no 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 seriously we insist so we just went ahead anyway because it was like easier i mean yeah at a certain point i think i did too i was like you know what i'm clearly going to get nowhere arguing with you let me just i felt awful though like i just don't like the fact that people think that we need extra help given to us you know what i mean like we're just as capable of stand i'm literally i can stand in a line just as long as someone else and i mean i know people do it out of kindness of their hearts but it still makes you feel bad you know, like you're taking it away from someone else. Yeah, because you're like pushing in almost, like you know, especially at the moment with the queues at outside like shops and supermarkets, you kind of feel like, oh, there's a big queue, and people said, "Yep, yeah, go in." And, and then like, you feel bad because you're like, oh god, I don't want these people to think like I'm just taking their spot. Like that's how I felt because like it was cold and wet, and everybody wanted coffee. I'm like, no, I really don't want to. Oh. <laughs> Not my, not my friend. Gotta get your coffee. (laughs) I I can wait. I don't like coffee. I love coffee. (laughs) I do. I like non-coffee. Like, I like Starbucks. So it's like a splash of caffeine with milk and sugar. Yeah. I mean, I I would probably drink it if I couldn't taste it. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's like more chocolate or whatever. Vanilla either. Yeah, exactly. Like I have a face mask that smells of coffee, and I just, I don't know. You're probably just like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> no thanks. It probably has some kind of thing to do with how it will make my skin feel, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any others? Um, people who speak to the people that you're with. Oh so, my god! I mean, yes. we've kind of touched on this a little bit, like with the the whole like guiding thing but it's just so annoying or like you'll be at someone like your friend's house and like either your friend's parents or your friend's siblings will be like oh does she need anything does she want this I was talking to this with some friends of mine and we were like we feel like luggage you know when you're on a big family vacation and (laughs) a lot of people and somebody's like can you take her I'm like goodness yeah or a suitcase I'm a yeah (laughs) so yeah definitely people I mean and I think a lot of it is like a lack of education you know you'll be there you'll be at a restaurant what would she like does she want water does she need a skin does she want and I'm like hello that's why when I'm with try to order first just because like I want the people like the server whoever to be like yeah I'm perfectly capable of answering questions about my meal and what I want and need and you know yeah it's like earlier when we were at the um at the shop where we were earlier um I think he spoke to my dad first but I just answered anyway because I was like you know what I'm here I'm perfectly I mean, I'm also, you know I feel like we're giving my own like we have 
it's not like when you're a little kid and your mom has the order number or the whatever needs to be for verification or, you know, the questions like we do the research and we come in with questions and we know exactly like what we need, not, not yeah. we're with. And I mean, I know people try, like they, they're not doing it out of any harm, but it still makes you feel. No. I, I think it's just a lack of, uh, a lack of like understanding and, you know awareness and stuff like that it is that, I'm, that I'm they do say, it. yeah it's, it's the not, same with the cue thing it's a lot it's like they're not thinking like oh yeah. yeah yeah it's it's crazy i mean it's honestly just kind of it's just annoying you know i'm like you know i'm like i you wouldn't talk to someone else like this don't assume that i can't tell you what i yeah. want or tell you what I, I need when i was at college i had a taxi driver who insisted on carrying my stuff and i was like no no i can i can carry it and he was like no 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 let me do it and i was like oh, and then it's like, and it's like yeah, in people my head i was like you know in my head i was like you can do that for someone else why are you doing it for me yeah exactly <laughs> like people are trying to be it's almost like people are being over helpful which isn't okay. Then there are the people like this is another one. People who are under helpful. So like I had a freshman roommate, and we were, we were okay. We weren't like besties. We don't order pizza at two a.m. We weren't like those kinds of roommates. But one yeah. day I was with my friend who was in a wheelchair, and we have a sign on our door, which I actually stole our room door. Um, that she made for us, and it says, um, my name, her name, and my other roommate's name, and then our room number three fifty seven in puff pink dot braille. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, nice. it's really cool. I have it in my room. Actually, it's like my favorite thing. Um, <laughs> dropped off the door, and, like, I'm reaching down to try and find it, and my roommate's kind of just standing there, right? Like, yes, I want you to acknowledge that I'm independent, but I only... Yeah, but give me some kind of direction. But give me, like, you need to have a good balance of, like, okay, I'm not going to help you with everything, but I am going to help you, you know, like, just forward, left, right? And I'm like, are you going to help? Like, it's really annoying, you know, because it's like you want independence, but you also want like acknowledgement of help when it's needed like it's a fine line yeah exactly it's like me this morning like the the post per, per post woman come and like obviously at the moment with the situation that we're in at the moment with the pandemic um they're leaving like parcels and stuff outside your door same with us so I, I opened the door. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be another situation of a person who doesn't know how to direct me. And she says to me, she's like, oh, there's a... Because my, do my dog was going absolutely crazy as well. She's like, oh, I think I think the dog spotted me. I was like, yep, he sure did. And, and she was like, oh, it's just the one parcel. I was like, okay, thank you. And before she walked away, I was like, oh, could you just, you know, give me some direction as to where it is because I can't actually see. She was like, oh, yeah, sure, of course I can. She was like, actually, would you like me to put it in, inside your door so you know where it is? I was like, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, Ugh. the last time that happened, I said to the post guy, because it was a guy this time, like, this time that I'm about to talk about, I said to him, I was like, oh, could, um, I can't see. Could you give me some kind of direction as to where it is? And he just stood there and went, um, uh... And in my um, head, I'm like, all you have to do is say forwards, left, right, no, those kinds of directions. Exactly. Um, I mean, I had a similar. Down. I had a similar experience. Like, I was um going back from a meeting. Our campus is pretty big, so I had to cross the street. And like, I'm pretty good at it. But like, this guy came up to me and he was like, "Hey, I'm a friend of um one of the other staff members, you know." And I'm like, "Okay." And he's like, "Do you want me to help you cross the street?" And I'm like, "Sure thing." And he, um, I took his arm and he crossed the street and he was like, okay, thank you. And I'm like, oh, he didn't ask me any follow-up questions. He didn't try to direct me. He didn't try to walk me the rest of the way. It was just a, can I, can you help me? Yes. And then he helped yeah. me move on with his day. And that never happens, you know, whenever I'm going somewhere, somebody's like, oh, do you want me to walk with you? Do you want me to whatever? Which honestly, I will usually take, not going to lie, because it does take longer to get from point A to point B when you're blind. But never yeah. have I ever gotten that where I'm like, where I could, I just got help. And and that was it. You know, there was no follow up, no no, you know, fear on his part. He was like, "Yep, I'll walk you across the street and I'll leave you here." And I'm like, "Oh, thank God." As well, like this is another one. People will help you to certain places and then just leave you randomly, and you're like, "So where am I?" And they don't tell you. 
Oh my god. Yes, I find that especially annoying. So um, our campus has a lot of different buildings and they have a lot of different entrances. And then, you know, when you're doing mobility, you have to like, you learn a certain route, right? Like a certain set of, you know, exactly yeah specific spot so i was going with a friend or well not mm, she was a girl in my dorm she was like where you headed i'm like oh to this hall and she was like i'll take you and she dropped me off on the wrong side and i'm like oh no thank you but i really do have like no idea where i am and that's why when, yeah. I, go, when I go anywhere with friends i'm like can you just meet me outside of my dorm so we don't have to deal with me trying to find you you trying to find me exactly yeah i mean in a way, I'm kind of glad that I'm probably not ever going to go to uni, but because of the extent of going across campus and then meeting friends and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's definitely doable for the people that don't think, you know, blind and visually impaired people can't go to uni or can't go to college. I, it's yeah, um, Lauren will hopefully remember to link my channel so you can see yes, the story really well. going to go. I know. <laughs> I know you, I'm just like, you know, nudge, nudge. No, I'm joking. No, um, <laughs> no, um, yeah, Jess films um, videos about her college experience as a blind person. Yes, I never got that when I was starting out, so I was just kind of like, why don't I just sit down and talk, and people seem to like them, which makes me super happy. Um, okay, yeah, I think it was your turn. Oh, wait, no, 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 you mentioned that one. Um, no, it's crazy, people that just... I mean, I see the misconception that we just can't do things. Like, I'm pretty intelligent. When I tell people what my grades are, they're like, wow. And I'm like, are you? Exactly. Or you do something. Or you do something and they're like, wow, you're so inspirational. Oh, I'm I like, hate that. Uh, I, I hate, hate it so much. Like, I don't. I like never know how to react because in my, in, in my head, I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> exactly. Like. It's this big misnote, and that's another thing, like, there's so few of us in the media, or there are so few of us that, like, do well in media, you know what I mean? Um, that, that yeah. everything we do is, or like... Or actually paint an accurate picture. Oh, thing. that's a whole video topic on its own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friends and I literally have whole conversations about her and her channel, and... Oh, my God. Not mentioning She's, any names. I mean, she wouldn't ever watch this video, but... You this, know, she replied to me on Twitter. What? Yes! So, I talked about the video she did where she was, like, push-up bras, right? Yeah, I did not watch that video. No, I didn't okay. either. But somebody was like, oh, why is she acting like this? Nobody cares. I'm like, yeah, no one cares. Like, this is not what you want to inspire blind people to do. She's like, exactly. I am a multifaceted individual with lots of interests and hobbies. And one of those happens to be body positivity. I'm like, girl, you're a stick figure. Stop. Oh, and I Stop. live in my luxurious apartment in LA. And oh my God. Have I you have seen that, that and video? She's so cute. <laughs> it's like oh, the luxury no, LA apartment tour. I'm just there, like what? <laughs> Literally everything. She's like, oh, I got this from blah blah blah, and it was over six hundred dollars. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the best is I spent dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Try on clothing haul. I spent do like my. I, I didn't watch that. I, I don't watch, watch them it. either. I see the titles, and I'm like, girl. Are you the, and that's the thing she's such a big pillar i mean my blind friend was driving back from um her house to her college with a friend of hers and they were like oh you don't wear makeup like she does and my friend's like no no like it's crazy no i i don't like i did yeah. strong, strong i mean blind people can put on makeup but it takes years and no years and years to but the assumption for my friend's friend exactly yeah yeah, I feel like people watch her and think that we all can pay thousands of dollars for Uber. We all don't need to get a job. We all, like, can't take showers, can't... It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's the same as a certain other YouTuber who just shops pretty much in every video. Oh, like, her, yes. Do, do we, do we really... We, we know this, like and, and it's a lot of clickbait. Blind doing this. Blind doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Blind well, with guide dog doing this. It's like, Scary crossing an intersection while blind. Oh my god, they installed bloody blah in this intersection. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, 
that is another topic that we should really That's cover. That's it. We can people. collab on that if you want. We, That'd be fun. We should get other people to, to Somebody talk Somebody commented that. on Twitter and was like, would anybody like to do a roundtable discussion? Yeah, I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'm in. I replied and I was like, help <laughs> me in. I think that's why I saw it, because it came up with your reply, and I was like... Oh, I love me some Twitter. Oh, I got one. People who don't... Okay, like, I'm not saying you have to just remember every single picture, but but if I ask you to describe a picture, and I explain the importance, please describe your pictures. It really annoys me on Twitter, because you'll scroll, and you're like, oh, this sounds so interesting, and then you hear image, and I'm like, what's the image? Video link down below where where Jess talks about her experience with the famous person. Famous. Well, see, here's the thing, though. I, he only did it because Gabby Gabby was so. <laughs> I haven't watched Gabby's video yet. I oh really my god, Gabby was like, yes, that'll show, that'll show him. I'm like, oh god, Gabby. What it's <laughs> for what it's worth. So I don't know if he's actually gonna describe a picture because he hasn't posted anything. And I'm like, put a picture. And then, and I, he might forget because he's one of, he's British too, actually. Kind of, yeah. No, I mean, was, yeah, the, the, the describing pictures thing, I have to constantly remind people every single time. If, if they send me pictures, I'm like, I can't see. I mean, it happens a lot with group projects. Like, we'll be in class and they'll know I'm blind and we'll get numbers. And then somebody will be like, Took, did this part of the assignment? And I'm like waiting i give it a couple seconds or a minute or two before i like question mark it and i'm like um ellipsis if you could just, yeah you could just yeah it's like i'm in groups and they constantly send pictures and i'm like huh do i really need this describing do i need that describing i mean it's hmm. also like some people don't really like i mean i like when people describe but there's a group on facebook it's called like meme jokes or something like that i don't know if you're yeah right. i'm in them and, yeah I don't, I mean, some of the descriptions are just, like, very political and not, like, the best. I'm like, I appreciate that you're trying, but, like, there's a whole... Or they're, like, very basic, and you just have to comment, like, what does this actually say? I mean, my friend, I don't know if you saw my friend. I have a friend um, on Tumblr who's lovely, and she describes all my 911 gifts for me, and she, like, did a whole set of them, and I put it in Facebook, and I'm like... This is what accessibility looks like. <laughs> Literally. When I saw that, I was like, yes, that is a very... It describes <laughs> well. <laughs> Girl, you're awesome. It's like somebody said to me once, um, they added me to like, I think it was selling stuff, and they kept sending pictures. And they're like, oh, I've never described pictures before, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, just add a short description of what well, I was talking to you because I'm in like this group because I'm a nerd and you know, I have no life, but I'm in, like, this group thing for the show, and I was telling them, like, it's really easy to describe it, because everybody puts up all the gifts, and my friend is like, you know what, I'm gonna start my own blog, and I'm gonna describe the gifts for you, and I saw the first, <laughs> and it was, like, the four that I put up on Facebook, I'm like, oh my god, girl, you're amazing, because nobody ever thinks to describe pictures, ever, and now I'm just, like, waiting. I'm like, can you please tweet? Tweet a picture, please. Tweet a picture so I can nag you if you don't describe. Because Gabby's comment was literally, like, you know, for a show with such diverse people, you really <laughs> have to be successful. I'm like, I, Gabby. I he's been, like, scared off or something. He's like, I'm not posting pictures ever again. Cause and he was like, like, oh, you <laughs> never. The whole jump down him. Like, oh, God, Gabby. <laughs> That's the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> yep, I will link that down below. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you should, oh god! You should That's out. probably it's it. Gonna He's gonna like, like yeah, they're gonna they're, they're gonna kill me if it's wrong. I'm just not posting. Not gonna post anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. earlier when I was scrolling through Twitter, I was like, there was a couple of tweets with image, 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 image. I was like, should I like reach out to any of these people and be like, so hey, um. Could you just give a little description of what you're posting? Girl, you know, answered my first reply. I was like, oh my god! 
I put it up on Facebook and I'm like, damn, this is, the, that's crazy. And then, yeah, see, it's annoying though, because me and Gabby, or Gabby and I, had to like ask him to describe a second time. So like this time around, I don't know if he's going to remember who. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Person I mean, pictures. we we probably expect a lot from people to describe pictures. but That's what I said like, in my video though. I was like. I did feel really bad because I think the world is going to just figure it out and do it. And I have to remember, like, people aren't used to it. They're not going to know. But I did tell him. I, anyway, I'm, I could go on for hours about this very topic. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Do one more. This just, I haven't been keeping track of how long this is. No, neither have I. Um, let me think. I'm trying to think of one more. It's funny because I've done a, a pet peeves video before, and I'm trying. I don't to think even know what we're calling this. Like this isn't this is like pet peeves and assumptions. It's just like blind blind rants. Oh, blind. assumption! We have heightened senses. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I was like, I get a lot of like, "Are you like a daredevil?" And I'm like, "No, I am not." I just get. Well, you have heightened senses, don't you? And I'm like, no, I just I don't think people understand that, like, they're not heightened per se. You just rely on them a bit more. You just have to, like, okay, sight is the dominant sense, right? Like, I've had friends look out windows and t tell me what they could, how far they can see, and it boggles my mind that they could see it. And when you take that away, you have to be so much more dependent on hearing and and word yeah and speaking and you know your sense of awareness um so yeah I, it's not that we have heightened senses i think it's just the like we have to rely on them more and uh, yeah i think it's just the relying on, on them a bit more because like people say oh my god your hearing is amazing and i'm like yeah it's just because i've learned to focus on like what what's going on around me and all that kind of stuff yeah but, like, Oh, you must have re really like heightened senses, and I'm like, no, no, I just, I just rely on them a bit more. They're not heightened. I'm not like daredevil or something. Like no, that. and I think like that's the thing. We don't have like, we don't purposefully heighten them. It's just you know when you take something out, you have to compensate with something. So I mean, I'm doing social work, so I'm gonna just have to listen to people. And one of the joys of being blind in that field is that I don't, I'm not focusing on that external stuff, right? Like. Those little things people do, they twiddle their thumbs or they tap their feet. Or they, exactly. Like, I can just focus on you and, and what you sound like. I also, like, want to, yeah. uh, before you close this off, that, like, we may have been, most sighted people are pretty great, but a lot also are very, kind of like what we just described. They assume and they question and they make judgments, which is technically the same thing as assumptions, sorry. Um, and they just... <laughs> I know, I know. Very yeah, much. I know. It it Sorry. really bugs, it it really bugs me how people like don't really ask and just assume that they know the answer. And it's I mean, like, I was talking to this same friend earlier, the one that does uh, the gift descriptions, and I was like, you know, please, if you ever have a question, please just ask me. Like, I'd rather you ask than assume, because normally when you assume, you get yeah. It, and I'm it, always it, saying that to people. I'm like, look, if you have any questions, just let me know. Don't sit I there. I really won't get offended. I mean, I've gotten asked how I knew. She was like, oh, we were talking about that. She was like, what's the weirdest question you've ever been asked? And I told her, I was like, well, somebody asked me how I knew it was nice outside. And I'm like, how do I know it's nice outside? And that was like, you know, you that set the bar low. So when you have a question, just remember that story and you can't get any worse than that, I promise. Yeah, I mean, I have light perception, so if it's sunny outside, I'm gonna I mean, know about it. you can also just feel, feel the breeze, it, you know. the, the heat. It, oh, it's anyway. like today, it's so nice outside, it's so hot in the UK. Like, yeah, it's we've had like a two-day two heat wave, it's supposed to get, it's supposed to go down a bit tomorrow, but it's really annoying because I love the sun, even though it's really hot. <laughs> um and like obviously you can feel like you know what you're she not said. she was like you have you're not there. dumb you can feel the breeze you can feel how warm it is if you don't have light perception and if you have light perception you can see the sun like the <laughs> light of the sun. it's it's crazy all right i'll let you wrap it up because i think it's been probably 20 minutes i haven't kept track probably it's probably not the long i mean we'll see when i edit this but it's probably not Ooh, the long geez, it's 123 right now and i think we started at like 150 maybe so I have half no an hour <laughs> um so yeah um 
Thanks for joining me on this video, Jess. It's having been really me. To, to talk about this topic. We should do um, another one. This was fun. Yeah, we should definitely do another one. I am definitely down for that. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah.